Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Yoga with Adrienne. Today we have a yoga quickie for the quads. So we're gonna start standing, and if you wanna do this with a hand on a chair or a wall, could be really helpful. You're gonna shift your weight to your right foot, and we're gonna bend that left knee in. Yep, you guessed it, going right in for this quad stretch, just checking in. So if you're super sore, Obviously, don't push it here to start. Just take a breath in. Use the exhale to relax your shoulders and lift your chest. And then maybe you can start to draw that left knee in, lengthen the tailbone down. Breathe. And then try to release with control. So try to control the dismount here. We're just gonna take it to the other side. So again, it can be helpful to have a little something to hold on to here. Start by just checking in. If you're really sore, no need to force it. But in time, maybe we draw the right knee in, lengthen down through the tailbone, and then use your breath to lengthen through the crown. Relax the shoulders down, and maybe find a gentle lift in the sternum. Nice, then we'll release that and we'll walk to the top of the mat. Take a deep breath in to reach the arms all the way up, big full body stretch. As you exhale, go ahead and take it all the way down into a nice standing forward fold. And then from here, we're just gonna bend the right knee and then the left, stretching the hamstrings. Just pedaling it out a little bit here. If the hands don't come down to touch the ankles or the feet or the earth, you can allow the opposite hands to clasp opposite elbows here as you pedal the legs. Breathe. Nice, then release the hands. You're gonna step the right foot back, just the right foot, lower the right knee to the ground. If you wanna pad the knee with a little pillow or a towel, I mean a little blanket or a towel or a pillow, <laughs> you can. We're gonna walk the right knee back here so we're getting a deeper stretch in the hip flexor. Press into the top of your right foot and inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up and overhead. Big breath, big stretch here for crescent lunge. Good, then slowly release. Bring the fingertips to the ground, bring the right foot up, and then you're just gonna switch. You're gonna step the right foot up, left foot back, and we'll repeat that on this side. Walk the left knee back in your lunge. When you're ready, hug the inner thighs to the midline and sweep the fingertips forward. Breathe in. And breathe out, releasing fingertips to the mat. We'll lift the back knee up, step the left foot up to meet the right, bend the knees, hands come to the hips here, inhale in, exhale to rise up. Excellent. We're gonna do the same quad stretch we started with, so you can bring your hands back to the wall or piece of furniture, or maybe you try this one without because we're gonna move into a variation of dancer pose. So you're gonna hug the left knee up to the chest to start this one just to find your abs, your core, then we'll send it back into the stretch, the quad stretch. Then keep the chest lifted here. Oops. As you slowly begin to send the heart forward, knee back. Great, stay here. You might switch your hand to clasp the inner arch of your left foot, hug your left knee into center, and then maybe to go in the full variation of the pose, you kick your left toes up and your right fingertips out. Breathe in. And breathe out, release, slow and steady. We'll take it to the other side. Shifting the weight, hugging the right knee up into the chest. And then sending it back into the quad stretch. Slow and steady. So instead of thinking just forward, think up first and then forward with the sternum, kicking the right toes back. Maybe you move the right hand to the right inner arch. And then pull the right knee into center. Maybe we send the left fingertips forward and kick out through the right toes. 
Think about kicking your toes up and then out. Beautiful, inhale in, exhale to slowly release. Let it all go, inhale, reach the fingertips up high, big full body stretch. And then exhale, forward fold all the way down. Good, from here we're gonna step the right foot back once again. You're gonna lower the right knee to the ground. This time you're gonna bring your left hand in towards the right hand, so now you're in a little lizard variation. Breathe in, look forward. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, bring the left hand back to frame the left foot. And we're just gonna take a little hamstring stretch here, sending the hips back, flexing the left toes towards the face. You can relax the head. Good, then roll it all the way back up. We'll walk the back foot up to meet the front. And we're just gonna switch from here. Left foot steps back, left knee lowers. Right hand comes over to meet the left side of the mat. We're in this lizard variation. As you inhale, look forward, find extension through the crown. And exhale, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Walk the left knee back if you need a little more there, breathing deep. Now bring the right hand to frame your foot Pull the right hip crease back, straighten the front leg, flex your right toes. Just a little counter stretch and then roll it all the way back up. Send your back foot back up to meet the front, forward fold. Let the head hang, maybe shake it a little yes, a little no. All right, on your next inhale, we're gonna step the right foot back. Once again, lower the right knee. Same thing as before, bring the left hand around. So you're in a lizard variation, but this time we're gonna turn the left toes out towards the front left corner of your mat. Inhale in, again, if you ever want more, you just walk that knee back. Inhale in, exhale, you're gonna slowly begin to send your left fingertips to reach behind you towards the back edge of your mat. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Or option to bend your right knee Reach back, grab the top of your left toes, and you can kind of shift your weight back to grab, grab the toes. And then you'll sink back into lizard, opening up the chest, finding extension through the crown. So you have this deep quad stretch here. Twist, hip opener, spinal extension, abs are hugging him to support the low back. You got it all. All right, slowly release. Come back through center. And we'll come back to frame the left foot with the fingertips. Lift the back knee up, and then we'll bring the right foot back up to forward fold. Take a breath or two here. You can interlace the fingertips behind the calves or clasp opposite elbow and rock a little side to side. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Find a nice, smooth, calming breath here. And we'll release the fingertips back down and step the left foot back, lower the left knee. Right hand comes to the left side of the mat with the left palm and the right toes turn towards the front right corner of the mat. Now again, you can walk that left knee back if you're craving just a little more. We're gonna to start to spiral through the spine, send the right fingertips all the way up and back. You can just work here. Careful not to collapse into your left shoulder. You can just work here, and then maybe one day or today, we bend the left knee, we reach back, and we spiral the chest open here. <sighs> Breathing deep, lengthening through the crown of the head, hugging those abs in to support Breathe. Nice, and then slow and with control, we release and we come back down into the fold. Now listen carefully. This time, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Now, reach the heels back so you feel your quads turn on. Turning the quads on in plank is like magic. <laughs> it can be really, really supportive 
in this posture. So just play here for three breaths. You're like, three breaths, but you got it. This is it. We're here for two and one. Slowly lower to the knees, bring them together, really together, and send the hips back. You're gonna paint your yoga mat, drag your hands all the way back, and melt your forehead down for child's pose, balasana. Feel your belly press into your quads as you breathe in. And feel your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Inhale in deeply. And exhale completely. And slowly rise up. So from here, we're gonna to come to lie flat on our back to close this baby out. But if you were feeling like playing a little bit more, you could work on a hero pose or a reclined hero pose, Virasana. You could also work in camel. That could be really fun. Um, so just some, some ideas for some at-home yoga play. But for now, we'll all come onto our backs unless you're choosing to play without me. <laughs> just wanted to give you guys some ideas to keep exploring on your own. And we're gonna send the fingertips down and just hug both knees up into the chest and then rock your knees to the right for a little twist. And then through center and to the left. And back through center to the right. And back through center, massaging the low back sacrum area. Awesome, to the left. Beautiful. Then bring the feet to the ground, press the palms into the earth, snuggle the shoulder blades underneath the sternum, and slowly on an inhale, begin to peel the tailbone up into a bridge pose. Reach the shins forward and lift your chest to your chin and the chin to the sky, lengthening through the neck. Breathe in. And breathe out, slowly begin to soften through the collarbone, the sternum, melting down the spine, one vertebra at a time. Cool, we're gonna windshield wiper the legs a little left to right until the legs are all the way out long, extended on your mat. Hmm. You can take your hands somewhere on your body if that feels good, or maybe they rest gently at your side. We're gonna take three breaths here. Inhale in. And exhale. Connecting to what matters most here. Inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out. And on this last one, option to bring the palms together, thumbs up to the third eye, breathe in. And exhale, lots of love out. Way to show up today. Connect with your body and your breath and the spirit with a good stretch. You guys are my heroes. Hope to see you soon. Namaste.